Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a two-point adaptive component Revit family and how we can use it with Dynamo. So I'm going to open a new family. I'm going to go with the English templates, metric, generic model, adaptive. Uh, I prefer to work with meters, so I'm going to type UN, change length to meters three decimal places okay uh, then i would like to open my reference level and uh, i want to type wt so my two views are side by side wt tw are the shortcuts between tile views and tab views uh, in my reference level i would like to go with the reference point so i want to click on reference point and it's going to be on the face and uh, when we have not set a plane it means that uh, the horizontal plane is the plane so i want to click here once and maybe click here second and i want to make these two points adaptive okay and now you see they are named as point number one and point number two Okay, uh, then I want to uh, create a reference line. So maybe I can click reference again. I want to go with uh, spline through points. Click here once, click here on the second point, right click, cancel. So now there is a line between point number one and point number two. Uh, then I want to create another point. I want to click somewhere here. Uh, I want to hit escape. Maybe I can um, consider this point somewhere around the center of this line so you want to type 0.5 which means this point is going to be somewhere around the center okay then i want to set this point as my uh, reference so i want to go with a set click on this point and this is going to be my reference plane if i hit show you see that whatever i draw right now is going to be on the same plane as this point uh, maybe I can draw a circle. I want to click on circle, click here, and I would like to type uh, 0 0.05 for the radius. So now the circle is created. I can turn off uh, this, the plane view so we can see better. Now I want to be able to have this as a parameter. So if I click here, click on the diameter here, it's going to make this uh, a dimension. Now I can select that dimension and change it into a parameter. How about I name it as um, the diameter. I'll name it as the diameter. That's good. And this is the diameter of our object, which might be either um, architectural or structural. I'll show you how it works in Revit in a little bit. Um, leave it as a type. That's good. I'll say OK. Now, see two different ways to create a solid out of this. If I just click on the line, hold control, click on the circle. Now, two items are selected. You can see here. You can also see it in the filter. And if I go with create form, it's going to be a cylinder. If I go to my family types and change the diameter to, let's say, 0.2, which is 20 centimeters, is gonna be like this okay uh, if we don't want this to be like a cone shaped we can just click on it go with lock profiles and then it's just gonna be a cylinder or I can uh, control Z go one step back and it's gonna be what it was before okay how about I change this parameter to be slightly smaller I want to change this to 0.1 but I just leave it as it is just to show you how it's gonna work in Revit I want to go with TW and maybe I can close one of the views I'll keep only one feel free to name your family I want to save this file and um, under options I want to go with only one backup we don't need to have too many backups of a family uh, and I'm going to name it as um, adaptive, maybe two point component. So this is the name that's going to show in Revit when I import it into Revit. I'm going to save this file. It's time to open a new project in Revit. So I'm going to go to new model, 
a metric architectural template or a default metric would do. And I want to change the units here also to meters, three decimal places. So it's going to work better in Dynamo. Uh, I want to load that family into my project. You can draw it here or you can just hit escape. We just wanted that family to be here. Okay. Uh, now I want to uh, go to manage Dynamo and the rest I'm going to take care of in Dynamo. So let's say maybe I'm designing a facade or something. Uh, I'm going to open a new project in Dynamo. Let's say maybe I have uh, kind of one arc here at the bottom, one arc at the top. Uh, so I can go with um, either arc or I can go with nerves curve. So I want to go to geometry, curves. Nerves curve would give us more flexibility. So I want to select the nerves curve by point and degrees this one. Uh, maybe I have three point by coordinates. So I'm going to copy this three times. This could be either a roof, a facade or something. So uh, maybe I'll design it um, as a roof actually this time. We worked on facades in previous videos. So uh, let's say if this is going to be a roof of something. Uh, the second point is going to move over there. So I want to bring a number slider. And uh, let's say this is going to be at least 5 meters, at most 50 meters away. This is going to be the second point. I want to go with Control C, Control V. And uh, this is going to be assigned to the third point. Okay. And maybe I can assign some value to the Y. So I want to go with Control C, Control V, and assign this to the Y of the second point. So this is going to look like this. How can I connect all three points at once to the point? Because we have more than one item, we're going to need a list. So I want to go with list generate, list create, three items going one by one. And this is going to points. We can go with different degrees. I can leave it on three or I can go with two. It's going to be less carry if I go with two. Okay, so I'm going to create a group here. This is my first curve, curve one. I want to go with control C, control V. So I have this whole thing as a second curve and I'll just uh, adjust it to be a different curve right now. Uh, how about I ungroup this for now? I'll group this later. I want to go with ungroup. And uh, let's say maybe I can assign a start point to the Y. So this whole thing moves over there. So I want to go with maybe a new number slider. This time I want to be able to assign negative values too. So this is going to be between negative 20 to let's say 20. <coughs> I want to move this to be a negative value, assign this to the Y of this point, of the third point, and for the second point, I can move this somewhere around here. Also, I can assign a negative value here. So this is going to be a different curve. Okay, how about I move this a little bit um, like this, and I want to change uh, this value to let's say I want to change it to negative 15 or something. Now I can adjust it. So maybe I have a roof like this. Just wanted to show you that this is going to work on any curve that you have, right? So uh, this is my second curve. Uh, feel free to change the values as you wish. I want to make a group here again and I want to name this as curve number two. Okay, so I have two curves right now. Uh, I just wanted to have these two lines. So this is a curve. That means if I go to the geometry menu, curves, curve again, I can work with all these items. What I'm looking for is one of the nodes here which creates points at equal segment and length. 
what does it mean? Let's say maybe if I assign an integer slider to the divisions, let's say at least it's going to be 5, at max it's going to be 50. Okay, as soon as I assign my nerves curve to curve, it's going to divide it but by that many divisions, right? Uh, feel free to hide the points that we already had because we don't need them anymore. We need the points here, uh, which are, uh, which have the same distance because this is divided by equal segments, right? I wanna go with Control C, Control V here, and this time I want to assign the second curve uh, to the curve, right? So now I have two points for each of my lines. So if I go with show items here and show labels, you see each one goes from 0 to 7, 0 to 7, and so on, right? Uh, if I change this, it's going to be a more or less, but the same integer slider needs to be assigned to both divisions. Now, what I want is that the first point is going to be this side, the second point is going to be that side. So this is the meaning of adaptive. It means that it's going to create this form no matter how far the two points one and two are, right? So I have already loaded this into my project, right? The next is going to happen in Dynamo. Uh, I know that certain adaptive components. So if I right click, go with adaptive component by points, uh, it only needs two inputs here. One of the inputs is points. We have two sets of points. So maybe I need to create another list create so I can assign both points at the same time to my points. Uh, it's a good time to put this on manual. List goes to points. I also need family types. So I want to right click, type family, family types, and choose the family that we loaded into uh, Revit, which is adaptive two point. This goes here. Now, as soon as I hit run, this is not going to work, but I'm going to hit run to show you why it's not going to work. It's going to become yellow. What's the issue? Let me turn off the show labels here and here and turn on the show label here. What's happening right now is that it's trying to create that adaptive family between point 0, 0 and 0, 1. Also between point 1, 0 and 1, 1. But we actually want it to be between this one, 0, 0 and this one, 1, 0. But it's going to actually go with the first item, which is the same, and then the second item in numerical order. So I need to transpose the list. So this is going to be 0, 0, 0, 1. 1011 and so on. Okay, you might have seen this transpose before in Excel. It's very similar here. As soon as you transpose a list, now let me uh, turn off show labels here, turn on show labels for this one, and run this. You see that this is 0, 0, 0, 0001, so this will be connected to this point, second point of the first line to second point of the second line and so on. So now we have nine items. Uh, if you see this in Revit now, you see basically it works. So maybe this is a design that you have for your roof. This could be something that you use to design your facade or uh, anything else. If I click on this uh, families, if you remember we, uh, we assigned the diameter as a, a parameter. So if I change this, let's say maybe the diameter is 0.15, it's a little bit thicker. It's going to change it for all of them. So that's basically how a two-point adaptive family works in Dynamo. Uh, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.